Well, tonight we are tracking what is now Tropical Storm, Josephine. It is named Storm Number 10. It's the earliest we've reached this point in any hurricane season, but thankfully, it's looking like it's going to steer well clear of Florida. Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer is here with the new advisory at 11. Craig, nothing to worry about here? Jim, I don't think so. I mean, it's always one of these things where if there's anything down here, and of course South Florida is up here, we watch it very, very closely, and rightfully so. Some of our biggest hurricanes come out of this part of the Atlantic. This is not going to be the case with this storm. In fact, it is struggling this evening. Hasn't changed its intensity since uh, it was upgraded at 11 a.m. this morning. Still a 45 mile an hour tropical storm moving to the west northwest. Now, here's the future track. And of course, it's the threat cone because what we really care about is where is the bad weather going to be? And that's what's indicated by this yellow area here. The cone, that outline only shows where the center point is expected to be. The bad weather could extend well out, and you can see here the forecast bad weather outside of the cone. But it's going to pass now to the north of the Leeward Islands. Folks here still need to watch it, but it doesn't look like any preps are going to be needed if this track continues, and we believe it will. And then here we are Sunday evening, and look at this. Monday and Tuesday forecast to be a remnant low turning well to the east of us and to the Bahamas as well. So uh, the forecast track looks good. No big changes expected tonight. It is looking like a struggling tropical storm. Um, not that healthy. Got a detailed look at our forecast coming up.